Our governor and the legislature have made felons out of millions of Illinois citizens. And that needs to be addressed sooner rather than later. It was clear uh, from what Judge McGlynn said that uh, he said uh, the lawyers should not plan on missing any uh, breaks over the summer. Sounds to me like that the judge wants to have a trial on the merits uh, before June. So attorney Tom Mag talked with him today after Judge Stephen McGlynn essentially denied delaying the merits of the case challenging Illinois' Gunna Magazine ban. Doing an update for you this Friday evening, Bishop on Air, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We'll go into this in more detail uh, on Monday, but uh, if you followed along with me on X, uh, then you saw all of the various uh, updates that we provided from today's scheduling conference, and I would definitely encourage you to go check that out, including the story, Judge Denae's Delot judge denies delaying case on merits of Illinois gun ban challenge uh, and you can check that story out but uh, I would definitely encourage you to, to check out the uh, the thread of uh, the case Barrett v Raul and uh, my uh, my tweeting out of that because you'll be able to really get an indication of all of the things that were discussed so uh, Stephen McGlynn uh, announced of course that uh, he's moving forward with this case when he opened it up and got all the various attorneys in there and uh, they were present from various plaintiffs groups two different counties and and the Illinois State Police and Attorney General's office being represented by one defense attorney. Now, McGlynn then asked for the need for evidentiary hearings, but you had uh, one of the attorneys for the Barnett plaintiffs say that they hope to proceed and file to the U.S. Supreme Court and seem to say that they want to delay and that uh, most of the plaintiffs groups wanted to delay the uh, merits of the case moving forward. McGlynn said, quote, that's not going to happen in this case. He says, we're going to conduct a hearing and I'm going to address the questions of facts and I'm going to apply the law to the questions of facts and I'm going to have a clear defined record and we're going to move at a deliberate speed, the judge said judge went on to ask for timelines, but you had even the defendants saying that uh, they agree a stay on the proceedings is appropriate. Uh, talking about how, hey, these are competent attorneys representing the plaintiffs. If they want to have a review by the U.S. Supreme Court, they should be able to do that. But the judge, he says that appeals courts remanded the case back to the district court and he's ready to proceed. Attorney Thomas Mag was the only one in the plaintiffs group that uh, agreed with the judge that they need to proceed forward. I was able to talk with Mag on uh, on the phone shortly after the hearing and uh, here's some of what he had to say went down uh what happened today is there's a scheduling conference in the assault weapons ban case in southern district of illinois in front of judge mcglynn judge mcglynn uh from my perspective made it clear that uh it was his desire to get to the merits of the case and, and to get the case rolling on other than just preliminary matters case has largely been tied up for a year plus on what he called, and I agree with him, preliminary matters. Uh, it sounded like the state and several of the plaintiff's lawyers wanted to delay the case further. The judge was having none of that, and I agree with the court that the case needs to proceed. The court has directed the parties to confer amongst themselves and has reset a status date in about three weeks. Uh, with the clear expectation that the parties will come up with a discovery schedule for uh, a trial on the merits. So the trial on the merits uh, expected to happen sometime in the weeks and months ahead. The uh, next scheduling or I guess uh, status hearing in this is set for the afternoon of February 2nd. Uh, so clearly uh, the judge, Stephen McGlynn, uh, denying any uh, option of delaying this case further uh, and moving forward with the case. Now McGlynn also went on to talk about uh, a variety of things that he's looking to do. He wants to uh, literally address each and every firearm that the state of Illinois has banned and uh, determine whether or not it can be banned 
per the Second Amendment. Uh, so that's uh, interesting to see just how much evidence there's going to be presented in all of this. But again, the plaintiffs were uh, trying to get the judge to bend a bit in delaying the merits of the case. Uh, and even uh, Judge McGlynn said, uh, how much more do they need to brief on this? There's already been a bunch of briefs. Uh, but uh, one of the uh, plaintiff's attorneys did indicate that uh, as they're writing for a petition for cert to ask the U.S. Supreme Court to review the case, uh, they've got that. And now they've got a stack on top of that, putting together, uh, you know, uh, potential witnesses and expert testimony uh, so that uh, they can get all that in line for the case in the Southern District. So uh, fascinating to hear this as as the judge said that uh, he's determined to move forward with this and to figure out what witnesses they're going to call. Uh, McGlynn also went on to say that uh, assault weapons, it's not a scientific term. He says it's more of a political term. Uh, so the judge went on to, to say that uh, he, he's going to look at every item and analyze each of them and whether they are truly reserved for military use. We're going to look at each of these things. We're going to study each of these things. Then having analyzed capably their design their uses their um uh, plug in the, and then they're going to plug in the test as to whether that's been properly uh properly uh, properly applied uh and he says as i sit here i anticipate saying that this test is articulated in this case and for test b it's for a different case uh, so interesting again to, to see this. We will delve deeper into this on Monday. But of course, if you follow me on uh, social media, especially on X, you got a, a, a review of this uh, as, uh, as we had these uh, tweets go out. And you can read basically uh, most of all of what was said uh, during today's scheduling conference. Uh, but again, the headline is that uh, Judge Stephen McGlynn denying a motion to delay getting to the merits of the case against the state's gun and magazine ban in the Southern District and a uh, case on the merits is going to proceed. Uh, so just wanted to get in here and uh, update you on that here with Bishop on air again, uh, like subscribe, hit that notification bell, and uh, we'll see you here live on Monday morning where we'll delve deeper into this. I'll share more of what Thomas Mag had to say about all of this and more. So uh, appreciate you guys checking it out. It's Bishop on air, like subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you back here on Monday. Thank <laughs> you.